Yeah, so the school thing, so he says that you took his school. Let's now let's take mm. the allegations one okay. after the other. Okay. He says you took the school from mm. him. Is mm. that true? I left in the middle of the term. Right. I left in October. Mm. The school ran till till full term, okay. and they were dispersed. I don't know. I was not in the picture. So you don't know what happened to this school? I don't school. know what happened. I only mm. found out that he didn't resume the school in January. Mm. And he had moved with the children to, to, to Abuja. Right. So I never knew. I I, I, about this even, yeah, I don't know. Then he says that he went to the UK, to the US, with a luggage. <laughs> and by the time he came, you had swept everything clean from him. OK. <laughs> so um, at that time, we didn't have money. Okay. The landlord had kicked us out of the house. The time we were given had come to an end. So we decided to move some things to the school compound because we still had space, you know, we we're still building, it was not filled with children and all that. So we had space. So I moved some things into, that, uh, into the school compound. Mm -hmm. And I was living with his mom. I was sleeping on the floor with my kids in his mom's small apartment. You understand? So mm -hmm. I'll come from Isolo to Magodo every day. To, to, to run the school. So that's where the move, the move right. is coming from. Right. You understand? Right. But at that time, I had planned to leave. Okay. So he traveled. But he was within Nigeria, he traveled to. Okay. So when, he, I, when I was moving, I selected my things and kept them aside with my two younger children. Right. You understand? Yeah. So when he landed and he called me to tell me he had landed, and I said, I've moved out. And he said, is that what you want? I said, yes. He said, let's keep it quiet. I don't want anything in the media. I don't want to you know anything. And I said, OK, no problem. And I've been keeping quiet for 10 years. He has been the one doing all the talking right now. Yeah. You know. He says that you assaulted his mother. Yes. Is, is that true? No. What happened? That's quite the opposite. Okay. So I just gave him it to our last child, mm -hmm. and his mom, you know, was coming to help out. And his mom will come Monday to Friday. She leaves on Friday that she must go to church. She must mm -hmm. attend her church. Mm -hmm. So my mom comes Friday to Monday. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom will leave in the morning on Monday morning. Mm -hmm. There was this one day his mom accosted my mom as my you know we're all out there in you know talking and laughing and all that. My mom then picked her bag and said she was leaving. And by the time she got into the middle of the compound, his mom jacked my mom's clothes and was shouting and saying, my mom has stolen her son's money again. My mom should give her her money. She needs her money. She wants to do things. She don't, can't do anything. And my mom is here stealing her son's money. And she tore my mom's clothes. And my mom was naked. And my mom was like, can you find your son's money on me? My mom emptied her bags and everything and you know, trying to say that, I don't have any money on me. Which money have I stolen? You understand? And I got upset and I told her, Mommy, I am tired. I am tired. You can have your son back. And I picked my kids and I left. The next day, he called the pastor. He called me. We came back. And his sister was there and, you know, ranting. She would have beat up my mom if my mom was still around, that my mom beat up her mother. And I was like, I don't understand. And she said, yes, that that's what they are saying. And I was like, no, that never happened, you know. And his mom, after everything, had told me that Emeka was the one propelling the beating part, that she never told anyone anybody ever beat her. So Emeka's mother yes. said she never told she anybody She said she never that said anybody beat her, that he, my husband, was the one that was propelling it, that she was beaten up. What you're describing is a deeply toxic yes. Yes. situation. This is what I lived. This is what I lived 14 years of my life. Now, there's also the other allegation of his properties that you <laughs> essentially have <laughs> taken away. When I left, I only took my clothes, my international passport, my certificates, my two children and their clothes. That was the only thing I took. I'm not in possession of his properties. Where well, I did know their locations and all that. But how would you sell somebody's property if you don't have the papers or documents? So you don't have any land documents? I don't have anything. He's the one who I have heard has been selling off his properties. Mm. You know, we couldn't even finish our, our buildings and all that because of his drug use. We couldn't make things out of life. We couldn't do anything with, 
you know, we couldn't plan, we couldn't go ahead with our plans because of his drug use. So he had a drug problem? Yes. When you say drug, what do you mean by drug? Well, I didn't know he was taking drugs. Right. It was when my kids came back, they told me their dad takes drugs. What kinds of drugs? Meds, whatever. They said they found his paraphernalia, you know. And that made me realize why. Why money would finish. Why we'll plan and say, okay, this money is coming in. We need to do this. We're going to do this. And all of a sudden, money is gone. You just described him as a drug addict, essentially. Yes. Do you think the drugs that you've alleged contributed to this entire lack of peace? Yeah, he might have. I'm not a medical person, but mm. I think he might have. Mm. Even when I found out that he used to smoke marijuana, I kicked against it. What he said is what makes him sane. He said it's what uh, calms him down. You know, and he tried to make me understand that it's medicinal, it's, um, you know, it's okay, and, you know, he needs it. You know, but I, I don't know. What made you keep coming back? This is a man who, you've described that he beats you in front of your children. Mm -hmm. He beats you in the car park in front of the hospital people. Mm -hmm. He called you stupid and dumb. You know, his sister and his brother had attacked you. What made you keep coming back to that marriage? I don't know. I don't know. Because, um, how do I put it? In hindsight, I think it's grooming. Mm. It's grooming. And he was threatening to kill me. This man almost poured hot cooking oil on me at a time. He, he will carry a knife and he will be walking up and down the house. I'll just kill you and nobody will know. Nobody will find out. I'll just finish you off. And the day he carried the hot oil, if I did not howl, mm. I had to howl and clap my hands. And then he dropped the hot oil and he walked out and he was still even bragging and everything. And I was on the phone with my sister crying and, you know, he just poured hot oil on me. And myself like, no, he's only bragging. He's only trying to, he won't do it. That was all I kept hearing. Speaking about friends, he said that some people were blackmailing you. <laughs> that's why you broke up with him or that's why you had the divorce. I don't know anybody. I don't know any such. If he claims I took his properties, go to court. When my mother died, he arrested me. My mother was two weeks in the mortuary. I was in SAS, Ikeja, Area F, Abi Area H. No, when, after well, yeah, I had left, you understand. He said I absconded with his children and everything. It was the, the boss of the police who had told me that he can always arrest you. He can harass you because he's still your husband. If you don't want him anymore, you need to divorce him. So immediately I came back from my, my mom's burial. Then I, I went ahead with the, because he was arresting my friends. He was making sure that people run away from me. I lost people. People were scared. Oh, people didn't, you know, didn't want to, yes. Nobody buried my mother with me, no friend. It was because only two scared people everybody because away. he scared everybody away. I buried my mom alone and I'm her last born. My two sisters couldn't come from wherever they were, but because of this man, you know, I didn't have the backing that I needed, the support yeah. that I needed, you understand? So, you know, it's... What, what you're describing, though, is a... Because you, used, you talked about teaching your children mm -hmm. about a psychopath and a sociopath. Mm -hmm. If you are correct in everything you've just described about the actor, 